How's it going there, everybody? It's Mr. Zen over here bringing you guys a brand new Attack on Titan episode discussion. And for today's segment, guys, we're going to be talking about is episode 3. And in this episode, guys, it was more of a dialogue-involved episode. Yes, guys, Attack on Titan, it does have dialogue episodes. And But needless to say, this episode was needed, folks, because of the fact that, you know, after all the action and bloody and gory that we actually seen in the first couple episodes, we actually now need to see more world-building and more exposition involved within the characters themselves, regardless of what's going on around them, because that's what's going to make the story more interesting. And from, I haven't read the manga myself, folks, but let me tell you this. From what I've seen on spoilers every now and then and, and pictures on the internet by accident, I could just say that the, the anime is doing pretty well on how it's being choreographed. And I do remember reading the manga just a little bit way when it was during this arc itself. And yes, folks, this anime, it's... It's beautiful. It's still beautiful. But the, by beautiful, I mean that is for, for a fact that the suspense that is actually being involved in this episode, folks, the suspense of how each character was actually driven in this episode. And by that, I mean is the scout regiment in this episode. They, they seemed like they were actually afraid. You actually felt the tension in the air as I was, as I felt when I was watching it. The music in the background, you hear, and you hear the, the horses just galloping in the dead of the night. It just, the, the way that this episode was just choreographed, it's just, it's being beautiful, guys. That's the thing for the spring 2017 attack on Tyne. It's just that beautiful. Needless to say, guys, needless to say, like I said, not action. But dialogue, even with the dialogue members themselves, it seems that we're going to be more focused on y Ymir and Historia because of the fact that Pastor Nick was actually involved with knowing the secrets of the, you could say, the Titans themselves. But he didn't want to give necessarily Hanj any more credited information because he doesn't want to, you know, uh, disobey his his rulers or his or the person that he actually goes to. But it needs to say. He only gave enough information to say that Ymir and Historia are the ones that actually know a little bit something about the Titans themselves. And it's interesting to say the least that, you know, a lot of people that know the manga themselves probably are already like, Oh my god, guys, you guys should do this. But no, this is for all the anime-only fans that are only watching Attack on Titan through the anime itself and not the manga. So, I'll tell you this much, guys. It's... It's going to be hectic because uh, the castles that they're, the, all the characters are, are going to be at, it seems that it's going to be a very, very prolific battle as the next episode might actually be that. And not might, it actually it will be a prolific battle, guys. And this battle will be ensuing for the survival of all the scout regiments as they're, you know, they're just huddled up. Connie, uh, I believe it was Ber Bernard, it was... Uh, it was the, the Ymir and Historia, and there's somebody else. I, I can't quite forget his name. But all of them, they're going to be in the castle cells. And it seems that the eight Titans actually made another appearance as he's actually leading the assault again. So these Titans themselves aren't necessarily just randomly attacking. No, they're actually being choreographed very well with the eight Titans themselves. Now, needless to say, guys, the episode itself was entertaining also at the fact that that Aaron, now Aaron has some more responsibilities, and that is to say that he has to man up and actually, you could say, yeah, he has to restrain himself, just like how Levi actually stated. He has to learn how to restrain himself. This is more of a character pivotal point where the character needs to learn to grow, and not unless you say, oh, let me just save the day by just attacking a Titans within a, within the fitted rage. No, the character needs to grow, and Levi just basically stated the facts in a very blunt way, but in a also, you could think about it in a well-mannered way as well, if you guys think about it, because the way Levi was actually saying is that, you know, enough kidding around. This is this is the military. It's basically, you live or you die. That's the way I kind of fell off of Levi. Just, you know, you, you have to do it, Aaron. It's either now or never. That's the way I kind of got the vibe out. But needless to say, guys, the episode was very fluid. The way the transition was going between each of the characters themselves, the you could say the 3D animation was actually pretty okay. That kind of it wasn't all that, but of course it was just enough just to say like okay, seeing the horses and the lights and the and the moving carriages, it was just. It was enough to say, like, oh, okay, this is actually pretty interesting enough to make the fluid action of the animation going pretty well. But that's it for today's segment, guys. Let me know down in the comments below as to what you guys' thoughts because, like I said, the next episode is where we're going to be involved more of the actual pivotal action. But I'm, I'm going to feel sorry for the ones that are actually going to be facing off against the Titans in the next episode because if I do remember, ooh, it's going to be... 
It's going to be a gory episode, guys. It really is. So, like I said, guys, let me know down in the comments. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoy my content, don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Attack on Titan episode discussions. And as always, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. But this is Mr. Zen, signing out.